NAET stands for Nambudrapad's Allergy Elimination Technique. Devi Nambudrapad developed this technique about 30 years ago. And uh, it's a wonderful technique to get rid of allergies or hypersensitivities without using drugs or shots. In traditional Western medicine, we have a couple of approaches for handling allergies. One is allergy shots that have been around for decades and decades. And uh, there's usually about a 50% success rate with, it, with allergy shots. The other possibility is drugs. People take medication, sometimes on a daily basis, to help them relieve the symptoms of their allergies. That doesn't get rid of your allergies, it just helps suppress the symptoms so you feel better. With NAAT, what we do is we balance the body so that whatever the item is that you're reacting to works more smoothly with your body so you don't have this response. The method is, it's an acupressure treatment. So first, of course, we have to do an evaluation of the patient and do some examining and some testing to find out what the pe people are allergic to. And um, then with NAAT, the way we start is different than other ways of looking at allergies, is we start with what they call the basic building blocks of foods vitamins, minerals, proteins, and carbohydrates. Because if, for example, you're allergic to berries, well, if it's the vitamin C in berries, then you're going to be allergic to apples and oranges and peaches and pears and all of the fruits and most of the vegetables. And uh, so when we treat you, or as we call it, clear you for vitamin C, many of those other allergies will just go away because that was the part of the fruit or the berry that you were reactive to. So what happens is when you come into the office, I'll hand you an allergen sample and you hold on to it. Everything on the planet has an energy field around it. So we see what your body, your nervous system response is to these individual items. And then we can determine whether they need to be treated or not. The time frame to, to clear an allergy varies depending on how complex that condition is, how many allergies or sensitivities are contributing to causing it. Um, and how strong the person's body is to start with. If they're very sick or disabled, it will take longer. Normally, it takes one treatment to, to clear one vial or one sensitivity to one group of similar substances. After a patient's been treated with NAAT, they have to completely avoid the item that we've treated for 25 hours after the treatment. That's part of the procedure. And then after that, we encourage them to eat or be around whatever the item is that we treated and go on and live their life and no longer react to that, that substance. Dr. Devi, who developed this technique, has a nephew who uh, was a high school athlete. He was on the track team, he was a track star. One day he went out onto the field and he told his coach he didn't feel good. And the coach said, oh, tough it out, get back there. And so he did. And as he was running, he had a massive stroke. He's a high school kid. So they took him to the hospital. They didn't know if he was going to survive. The swelling in his brain was so significant, they had to drill a hole in his, in his skull to help relieve some of the pressure. Dr. Devi and her sister, who also practices NAAT, determined that they had sprayed an herbicide onto the, the field before practice that day, and that the, the young man was reacting to that in this very severe way. So they started treating him with NAAT, and they treated him almost continuously for several days. And three, they, they didn't think he would survive, and if he did, he would be permanently, significantly impaired. After three days, he had back his speech. He had back movement in his arms and his legs. He, of course, he had to, do continue, he had to continue with therapy longer than that. But it's amazing how quickly he turned around and his recovery was complete. Would that have happened without NAAT? I don't think so.